Well, it's a nice December day at the range. High 40s, close to 50. Sun's in and out from behind the clouds. It's pretty pleasant when the sun's out. And the sun's behind the clouds. It gets a little chilly, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna plink a little bit with the 92 Rossi in 45 Colt. And this is a load that I've used a fair amount before. This is uh, an SNS casting high-tech coated 45 Colt bullet. It's uh, 250 grains and I'm using Unique. So I'm at 50 yards. I'll plink a few and see how it shoots. I have some other 45 Colt bullets that I'd like to test today. We'll see how things go and maybe I'll get those out as well. No target camera today, keeping it simple. The front bead will cover the target dot, so I'm going to hold at 6 o'clock. All right, well, there's the first five. Let's walk down and take a look. Well, there's the first five shots. One, two, three, four, five. I was holding at six o'clock, the site about right here. So the elevation is probably pretty close, but uh, looks like I might be shooting to the right a little bit. So we'll put a few more on the target and see what happens.
Well, let's take a look at that. It looks like a similar point of impact shooting offhand. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the ten shots. I must have dropped one low. I think I did shift a little further right with my offhand shooting. So let's try to adjust the hold a little bit and see if I can get them where they belong. Well, I raised the rear sight one notch. We'll see if that brings it up. And I'll, I didn't bring anything to drift the front. I'll uh, just hold off to the left a little bit and see what happens. Okay, like I said, I held to the left a little bit there. I added one click of up in the back. Let's see what that looks like. Well, the sight adjustment really didn't bring us up very much. Must be more a function of my hold and how I'm aligning the sights. I can still count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So still just one unaccounted for probably down here. Let's try some more and see what's happening. It does seem to be putting them into some decent areas. It's probably as good as my hold is. We'll try it again. Well, I'm guessing that the shooting to the right is more a function of how I'm lining up the sights and how well I'm seeing the target than the rifle itself. Let's shoot a few more and see if I can do any better. That seemed a little low. That hold was a little higher and I was holding just a little bit to the left. I probably was right on the left edge of the circle. So probably I guess you'd call that like an eight o'clock hold but a little low. These small rifles are not real easy to hold steady. That felt a little bit left and a little bit higher than I wanted it to be, but we'll see. Okay. One more. All right, let's walk down and look again. Well, I'm still pretty much down and right. As much as I'm trying to hold a little bit to the left, I must be moving the rifle when I pull the trigger. Let's count them again. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So there's nineteen of the twenty of them that I shot accounted for. And if we look at the bulk of them, you know, they're about a four inch group or so. Here I got, if you go this way, it's a little bigger. If 
five. And of course, this one over here, I really screwed up. If you go extremes, eight, but uh, 50 yards, most of them offhand, five of them off the bags. But uh, I am getting some clustering, so it's, uh, it's trying. I just need to get better with my sight alignment. I think I'll shoot some more. Okay, well, I've put the last seven of these that I have in the rifle, and I'll try to take my time and do a good job. It's funny, because my natural point of aim is actually to the left, but I'm still pulling the shots to the right. I may be doing that when I pull the trigger, or it may just be the way I'm lining the sights up. Okay, well, let's see what happens. These Rossi 92s are a ton of fun. <laughs> I have one in 357 and I have this one in 45 Colt. And I really like the 45 Colt in the Lever Action 92. It's a lot of fun. I should probably invest in a Winchester. This SNS bullet seems to feed really well. I haven't had any issues with it. Felt a little high. Okay, I think this is the last one. That last one I didn't have real good sight alignment on, I kind of yanked it off. Okay, there we have it. Well, it looks like that's the area where it's going to shoot. So let's see if I can count them all again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and then one that's missing. So as much as I was trying to hold a little bit off to the left, I didn't do a very good job of that. I was still kind of right in this area and in general other than these ones that I obviously made big mistakes on that's shooting five to six inches offhand for the most part for just popping out to the range and plinking away I'll take that that's uh, good enough for what I expect out of that rifle <laughs>